திருச்சுட்டம் பலம் பத்தராய் பணிவார்கள் எல்லார்க்கும் அடியேன் பரமனையே பாடுவார் அடியார்க்கும் அடியேன் சித்தத்தை சிவன் பாலே வைத்தார்க்கும் அடியேன் திருவாரூர் பிறந்தார்கள் எல்லார்க்கும் அடியேன் போதும் திருமேனி தீண்டு பார்க்கடியேன் முழுநேறு பூசிய முனிவர்க்கும் அடியேன் அப்பாலும் அடிச்சாந்தார் அடியார்க்கும் அடியேன் அரூரன் அரூரில் அம்மானுக்காளே தெளிவு குருவின் திருமேனி காண்டல் தெளிவு குருவின் திருநாமம் செப்பல் தெளிவு குருவின் திருவார்த்தை கேட்டல் தெளிவு குருபுரு சிந்தித்தல் தானே வேதமோடாக மம்மையாம் நிறவண்ணூல் ஓதும் பொதுவும் சிறப்பு மன்றுள்ளன நாதன் உரையவை நாடில் இரண்டந்தம் பேதமதென்பர் பெரியோர்க்கு அபேதமே Thank you for the nice introduction. He called me Anna, but I am Thambi. <laughs> did I miss anyone? I did pay my respect to all the people here in the songs. I think you are all included here. Very nice to be with you in this evening. My topic is வேத சிவாகம மரபும் ஆலய வழிபாடும் ஸோ ஐ டேக் த ஃபஸ்ட் பார்ட் அண்ட் மேபி வி கேன் டாக் அபவுட் த செகண்ட் பார்ட் டுமாரோ வென் வி ஆஸ்க் அவர் கிறிஸ்டியன் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் யுவர் புக் ஓ ஸ்கிரிப்ஷர் தே வில் சே பைபிள் தஸ் நோட் அவுட் வென் வி ஆஸ்க் அவர் Muslim brothers and sisters, what's your scripture or text? So one voice, they say Quran. When we ask our Buddhist friends, they will say Dhammapata Thiripadaka. But when we ask my close friends, Sai White Hindu friends, what is your scripture? What is the text? for our faith there is no one answer do you agree so everyone saying different different answers someone says bhagavad gita someone says devaram someone says tirumurai someone says meekanda shastram and all those different different answers we'll get so it uh, it's become so confused and so complicated but it is very simple you will realize at the end of my talk it is very simple as the theme of the conference start with veda sivakama what is veda what is agama the scriptures of the whole divisions of hinduism say vedas based on vedas so you can see in the board i don't know whether people sitting in the back be able to see clearly the vedas first we see what's veda veda is a word come from the root word vid the vid means knowledge you know in back home we have vidya salai and uh, vidya alankara university vidya means knowledge so any knowledge is veda any knowledge is veda if i ask uh, ayya what was his uh, what did he study he would say law so the the studies of law is also come under vedas when i ask someone else he would say i am a physicist or some as a study of physics 
is Veda. And someone else, when I asked the doctor, he would say a medicine. That also a Veda. And where did the kids go? It is weekend. But on the weekdays, where did they go? They did go to study different things, different subjects. Mathematics, science, biology, physics, chemistry, ethics, language. And all those knowledge can be considered as Veda. That's one part. I'll come to that later on. But some of you may have questions about that. I'll come to that later on. The first part is Veda means knowledge. So where do our kids go during the weekdays? They went to study Vedas. That's it. The second part, Vedas have or instruct, Vedas instructs about the goals of life. There are four goals of life instructed in Vedas. The four goals of human life. That also is confused now. If we ask uh, any of the youngsters, even my fellow friends, what is the goal of the life? Everyone is different. Some people say to achieve certain qualification. Some people say to achieve some economic status, to buy a home and settle there, that is the goal of life. Or buy this car, or marry and settle, different. But the Vedas prescribed the four goals of human life. One is Dharma, Aram, that's the righteous way or righteous deeds. Second thing is Artha or Purul, in Tamil is Purul. That's this resource management. If you see the Purul, some people say wealth. It's not wealth. It's the resource management. It talks about government. It talks about uh, administrations and resource management. Human resource, political resources. So, second part, Veda instruct is the resource management. The third part is Kama or Inbam in Tamil. It's enjoyment of life. Enjoying the pleasures of life. And fourth goal, the Veda prescribed is moksha or vidu, that's the spiritual liberation. So four goals of human life. Youngsters, be clear, if anyone asks what's the goal of your life, there are four goals. One is righteous way, second is resource management, and third is enjoyment of life, fourth is spiritual liberation. It's like a four fingers, not everyone has the what he called integrated equal inclination to all four. Mostly inclined towards one part. Some people more inclined towards uh, enjoyments of life. Some people more inclined towards the spirituality and neglected one part as a or pinky finger. So each one of you can ask yourself among the four, which one is your middle finger, which one is your pinky finger and which one is the other two. So we have to identify and integrate these four to have a balanced human life. That's the goal of human life. Andralin kilirindu aram mudala nalinayam essays thiruvasakam. So Lord himself instructed in Vedas these four goals of human life. So first part we say the Veda is knowledge. The second part says Veda instructs on four goals of human life. The third part is Veda full of praise of songs, praising the Lord, the Purusha Sukta, the Sri Sukta, Durga Sukta, Sri Rudram, all are songs of praise. So if we consider Veda, what is Veda? The three parts come here. One is knowledge. The second part is instructions of the uh, goals of human life, four goals of human life. And third is the songs of praise. That is Veda. Now, I put the question. Is Tevaram or Tirumurai song is Veda? What do you think? Tirumurai or Tevaram song is it Veda. Yes, why? 
It's, yes, it's praising the Lord. The songs of praise. We call it the Tamil Vedam. We call them Tamil Vedam. So that is Veda. Even though they speak about other things, they mainly the songs of praise, our Tirumurai songs. Then come to that. What about Tirukkural? Tirukkural, written by Tiruvalluvar. Is it Veda? Why? Why not? Not? It's not describing the God. It starts with uh, Kadaval Valti. And also there is a, what do you call it, the, the description of the God not as a different section. It shows about three out of four gods in human life. The righteous way, Aram. Then the resource management, Porul. And enjoyment of life, Inbam. And it doesn't speak of weed or liberation as a separate section, but it's ingrained in there. The first part, ten choral, and also in between we can see many songs. So Tirukural, as it instructs the goals of life, it is called Dakshina Veda. It's called Dakshina Veda. Takina Veda in Tamil. Dakshina means south. So it's the southern part of India. So it's Dakshina Veda. So Tirukural is Vedam. Tirumurai is Vedam. And all the knowledge is Vedam. I'll come to that. Some people have questioned how Tirukural Vedam is okay. And some people have questions about that too. Tirumurai, okay. How can you say physics and chemistry could be equal as to Vedam? It's part of Veda. Veda has, if you see that below Vedas, there are six auxiliary texts of Vedas. Six auxiliary that we call Angam. Arangam Nalveda Manai Poti. This morning they sang all those poti. It is there. Arangam. The six parts. Nalvedam. What are the six parts? Say Sikshai. Vyakaranam. Niriktam. Santo Visidi. All these things are language. Etymology, philology, and uh, grammar. All those things, dealing with the language. So whoever, whoever studying language, linguistics, and literature, this part comes under this. And other two parts, one is Kalpa. Kalpa is the, uh, the prerequisition for the rituals. And Jyotish. Jyotish everyone knows, astrology. Whether we do we believe in God or not, we believe in astrology. <laughs> the most uh, fearful thing of our life is the what he called uh, uh, Sani Payarchi and Guru Payarchi, right? He'll come to the temple. <laughs> so these are the six auxiliary texts of Veda. The six in Sanskrit is Shat, Shan Mukha. So as per the six auxiliary texts, Anga, Shat, Anka, six auxiliary texts, any Rituals, as per the six auxiliary texts, is all Shadang, Kalyana Chadang, Tirmana Chadang. Chadang means the rituals conducted as per the six auxiliary texts. So, astronomy and astrology comes under this, and pre ritual prerequisites comes under this. Language and studies of the language come under Veda. Then there are sub Vedas called Upa Vedas. Upavedasa Ayurveda. Ayurveda means medical science. Any doctors or specialities, some sort of specialties of doctors, they specialize. It's part of Veda. That is Ayurveda. Ayurveda means that strengthen the Ayur, the longevity of our life. Contribute to that. Then the Dhanurveda. Dhanurveda is uh, military science and warfare. It talks about military uh, new missiles and uh, application of these new missiles and uh, conducting the warfare and other things. So anyone in the intelligence service, army, navy, police, air force and uh, defense section, it's under Dhanurveda. Then comes Gandharva Veda. 
we all enjoyed a nice beautiful dance program before this then the music recital and all these uh, what do you call aesthetic uh, arts me all those things on sagandarva veda music dance and all the uh, fine arts of comes under gandarva veda then the fourth part is called artha veda as per the arvana also in saiva vinavada says is artha veda but some people say stapada veda artha means the resource management but is already said before and stapada means architecture the planning and constructions all those things stapada so already i absorbed i think almost three fourth of the crowd in the vedas right there are architect there are engineers there are linguistic people right there are music teachers there are dance teachers there are priest there are doctors all vedas then there are sub auxiliary tests upankam upankam first comes this nyaya nyaya means logic logic is the science of those days is a scientific approach on those days they analyze critical analysis and critical approach modern day equal to modern day scientific approach that is logic or nyaya second is smriti smriti is uh, laws bylaws rules regulation lot of do's and don'ts in smritis so our lawyer come under yeah one of the sub auxiliary text of vedas it comes under smritis it can be amended and modified time to time the basic principles are the same then there is mimamsa mimamsa means again ritual applications uh, rituals and the applications in the day to day life mainly for the priest and uh, gurus and also uh mimamsa like then comes under purana purana means all our 18 puranas or mythological documents so mythology is not the right word because we don't no longer uh, we do no longer consider puranas as just a uh, fictionary imagination there's a lot of truth behind it prana talks about panchalakshanam origin of the universe end of the universe and uh, um, genealogy of the kings and the happenings all those things so the origin of the universe described in pranas is much matching the origin of the universe described by stephen hawking the big bang andat thogudi innundai purakkam nalapparundan mai valapparam kaatchi ondranu kondru nindralil vagarin nootoru kodi in meetpada virindana the expanding universe described in tiruvasagam it not imag was not imaginable until stephen hawking described the big bang expansion that's why we call it prapancha pancha means expansion pra mean thus is expanded the prana states is uh, cosmic world as prapancha thus is expanded then it comes to an end it converge it's called bralaya laya means converge alaya means the soul could converge and uh, connect there so this is a pranic description so all those things the four vedas and the knowledge the songs of praise and uh, four goals of life plus the six auxiliary texts plus four sub vedas plus four sub auxiliary texts of vedas all considers vedas and their branches and sub branches is all vedas do you now agree we all studied vedas we all studied vedas our kids going to the school study vedas the vedas are general text that's a vedam podu vedam podu it comes there vedam podu is a general thing everyone should study veda and also in those days they said you sh- you cannot master the vedas it's true because it's vast branch how can you ma- master all these things you can go into your branch and master that if you have time and interest you can get into other one that's it we cannot master the whole uh, branch of vedas because it's 
consist of all knowledge. We know the God, we all have knowledge. But our knowledge is limited. Our knowledge is conditional. The God has unlimited knowledge. He is a knowledge total, as I say. So, the origin of the knowledge comes from him. He is the Bhurnam. He is the full of knowledge. So all those things we discover, we expound, we explain new things year after year after year is already in him. That's how we say Vedas comes from the God. Vedas come from the God. That's about the Vedas. Clear or confused? I don't see much uh, younger faces. They are sitting behind. You able to grasp it? Yes. So that's Vedas. So whenever you go to school, you are studying Veda. Whenever you select a branch or whatever the branch of study, law, physics, medicine, uh, literature, uh, foreign affairs, defense, whatever the branch you select, that is Vedas. Veda is for general public. Veda is for general public. Then what is Agamas? Next part is Agamas. Sivagama. There are Agamas in different tradition. This is mainly Sivagamas for Saivas. Sivagama. Agamas means, as Swakamaran I uh, talked in this morning, Agamas means coming closer. We ring the bell by Agamatam the Devanam. Devarhal Varivadat Kaham. To invite. Ahamam Mahinindru Annipan Talvarha. The God is almighty, all powerful, omnipotent, omnipresent. These uh, kids, they gave in their speech very well about the description of the God. So, Vinnarainde, Mannarainde, Mikai, Vilangoliai, Unnurande, Ellaila Dani. Pedangalaya, Yenavongi, Alnde, Ahandra, Nuniani. So that almighty, all powerful, all pervasive God. How to relate to that God? How to internalize that God? How to personalize that God? Is the way described in Agamas. When we say Vedas talks about four goals of life, Aram Porul in Bambede, the last part is Vidu, spiritual liberation. That part of Veda is called, the part of Veda that talks about uh, spiritual liberation is called uh, Upanishad. There are 108 well-known Upanishads available. There are more too. Upanishad. That part is called Vedanda. That part is called Vedanda. The part of Veda that describes the spiritual liberation is called Vedanda or Upanishad. That is... That part is called Vetant. Here, the spiritual liberation is described in the part of Vetant or Upanishad, but not very extensively. As we say in Tirukural, there is no separate section on liberation, right? There is no separate section for Vedic. It is ingrained in there. Like that, Upanishad also, it says about the spiritual liberation, talks about the God, talks about the soul, talks about the journey of the soul, but it is limited. Agamas are the ones, is further expanded and expounded the part of spiritual liberation. Explained in the Vedanta or Upanishad. That's called Vedanta Telivam Saiva Siddhanta. It further expand, further explain the spiritual liberation part explained in the Vedas, that is Agamas. Veda says about the God, almighty, all powerful, all pervasive. But Agamas describe how to personalize him, how to get relate to him. That's what we all do. Appa, Amma, we take everything to the God, right? Even the small, small thing we petition to the God. That relationship is possible because of the Agamas. That's why Agama Mahinindri Anni Pandal Varga. 
So that's what Agamas. So if we see the all the scriptures, all the scriptures, only th these two, there are no other scriptures in the world. No other scriptures in the world. It's called Vedanul, Saivanul, Rendenulhal. Revealed scriptures are two only. Vedas and Agamas. That's it. You can't name a third one. Can you? Can you name another text or book or field or scripture? No. So Vedanul, Saivanul, Rendenulhal. All other nodes are just an expanded text of these things. Further expansion, further development from this. Adi nul. This is the original. Anadi amalan tarunul irandam. Both came from the God because all knowledge is God. Knowledge is God. Arana nul podu. Aranam means Vedas. Vedas for general texts. Veda. This is a general text. Saivam Aram Sirappu Nula. The Agamas are the special text. Vedas are general text. Agamas are special text. What is the special? He says next one. Nidhi Inal with just, just and fair God. Our God is very just and fair. A just and fair God. Nidhi Inal Ulaharkum. Just for the worldly people. So Vedas are for just the worldly people. We say our kids say study, enjoy the life, getting qualified, getting married, secure a good job and progress further, all those things. And for that, we go to the, do some certain rituals, certain pariharam, so prayachitam, puja, on all those parts is for the general public. The Vedas are for not general public, so don't think Vedas are something uh, sacred and only Ayya can say that, or others cannot even hear or recite anything and things like that. The Vedas are general. Nidhi Nal Ulakarkam, the worldly people. The second one, Saivam special text, that is uh, Satini Padar. Satini Padar means they get the special descent of the salvic potency of the Lord. They are, in, in other words, they are serially, spiritually inclined people. So, Agamas are only for seriously, spiritually inclined people. You agree? If you talk about Agamas, another thing, many people get bored. Because they don't need it. They didn't come to that stage. So, we can't just uh, uh, force these things upon them. So for them, the Vedas. For them, it's the Vedas. But people, whoever has, uh, what do you call, developed a passion or more become spiritually inclined, that also by his grace. That's why Satini Pather. For them, the Agamas comes. So, Nidhi Inal Ulagarkum Satini Pather He revealed these things. Nil Marayin Oliporul. The Vedas are long. And very complicated. The many things are not known. Vedanta Tidhiril Porul. Among that, the part of Vedas explaining the liberation that Vedanta Upanishad. Kondu Urekkunnol Saivam. That explained is Saivam, that is Agamas. Puranol Tikal Purvam Sivakamangal Siddhanda Maham. So now, we got an idea about Agamam. What is Agama says is, what Veda said in Vedanta is further explained. Agama says the way to internalize and personalize the God, way to relate to the God. Pakti Velayal Paduvon Kanga, the way to internalize. There are four steps, way. One is Chariyai. Chariyai means just the mechanical involvement doing certain things. Initially it's needed for the kids. For the adults, so sometimes they do the things not for the devotion, but some of the astrologer or priest said, oh, you have the Saturn in the eight, it's a bad period, go to the temple, they come and do that. It enforced from outside, it enforced from outside. Not much mental involvement, out of fear, out of obligation. Sometimes we parents get the children to do this thing. Thambi, oh, th uh, uh, oh my dear daughter, please clean this altar, or please light this lamp, another thing. 
they do out of obligation and out of way. That's the first step. We need to gently do that. That is first chariyai. Then giriyai with some mental involvement comes. They do that, but some involvement comes. Some involvement. The giriyai is necessary. Uh, when I kind of, one of the experiences when I conduct in the Sunday class, one of the uh, student, is a university student, now he is graduated and got married. And he once said, you are teaching us to do the bhuja, but when I ring the bell, I stop the arati. When I show the arati, I stop the bell. And by ringing the bell and showing the arati and reciting the prayers, oh my God, it's a Herculean task. So puja is a simply a training the younger ones and the small kids to into the multitask performance. So get them into that. And people not involved in chariyai, not even do these things, and they come and ask us, uh, what do you call it? Ah, do you teach meditation? How could it be possible? So, first you need to go to the step by step. The, this little bit of coordination and mental involvement comes. Then comes the yoga. Yoga gas, then comes the... When yoga comes, is you, yourself, do those things. That's called self-imposed. So, sariya is imposed from, enforced from outside... Giriya is some outside in, in, uh, enforcement with some mental involvement. Yoga fully self-enforced. Adha, yoga, anusasana. Someone talked about sasana this morning. Ayya talked about sasana. Sasana means cannot change. It's written. It's enforced. Anusasana means self-enforced. Then comes a bit of uh, physical discipline. Sitting in one place, certain postures, mental discipline, sealing of desires, regulation of food, regulation of sleep, and focusing insight, concentration, then a bit of breathing exercise, bit of, bit of asanas, then comes the meditation and samadhi. Eight phases. Then the last one, then the last one is jnana. Jnana has four steps. Kirtal, by listening to and studying, sindital, thinking about it over, and telidal, the conflict free assimilation of the learned truth. That is the one, telidal and nishtakudal, becoming one with the God and enjoying the God by directly, not through our body, mind, sense complex, but not through either mind or focusing, concentration, or thing. Just detach from all those things and enjoying the God. This is the four step process described in Agamas to experience and enjoy the God. Now, we know our Mekanda Sastras, the 14 Tamil Mekanda Sastras, Agamas. Now we can see any book. Any scriptures in our religion is the very clearly defined Vedas and Agamas. But even in other scriptures, we can see the portions only instructing the Vedas. There are portions, uh, it's compatible with the Agamic portions. So, because only these two, two texts are existing, all other knowledge, all other texts, and all other... Uh, scriptures are just a part and parcel or branches of it. That's a understanding of our scriptures. So we know, understand our, our the term Veda and our Agama and uh, that is the basic term we use for our scriptures. It's not only the Saiva scriptures, not only the Hindu scriptures, it's the scriptures of the religions of the past, the present and future. This is an eternal truth. Thank you.